Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I wanna show you how I installed this 1000 watt solar array on my 12 by 16 shed. Now this is a complete DIY project. It's basically a complete experiment. I purchased everything from Lowe's or Home Depot and Amazon. So we'll see how it holds up. And just like with any DIY project, there's always a risk of fire or injury. So if you're gonna to try to do something similar, you take that own risk upon yourself and I'm not responsible for what you end up doing. Now I'll throw up the specs for each of these panels. It consists of three of these Pimar polycrystalline 325 watt panels. Now I found these three panels for sale locally for $450, so I got a really good price for them. They are unused, but they have been sitting in storage for a while. Now these three panels are mounted on top of two 10 foot super strut bars that I picked up from Lowe's. And then they're sitting on top of pressure treated wood and some flashing. So let me go ahead and show you how I put this together, starting with the mounting system. Okay guys, I'm here on my roof. I already got three of the mounts done for my lower solar panels, and now I have to do the top part. So I'll show you the steps to do that. So the first step you wanna do is locate the rafter stud that you're gonna be attaching to. Now some people have taken a hammer and they've hammered through here to find it, and you can feel where it gets solid. I just could not do that. So I have access underneath. So what I did is I came up with a very small drill bit next to the stud, and then I knew this was the edge, and then I marked an inch and a half over, and then I can drill out uh, the middle here. So the next step here, I've done that for all three going down. So the next step is to drill out this so I can put my lag screw in and then uh, I'll show you the next steps. Okay guys, I drilled out the hole and measured uh, so it's all uh, drilled out the whole way. So basically what you do is you take a piece of flashing that you cut with a hole drilled in it, you line it up with this and you line it up with the hole you drilled here. Now this is like four and a half inches and it lines up with that hole. And then you take some really nice uh, Henry's sealant here and you're gonna plug this hole cause this is the pilot hole. And then uh, you put a little bit in here, put the flashing over and then you put a rim around this and then stick this guy down and screw that on top. So hopefully that is enough instruction for you but let's go ahead and do it. Okay, so I'm about to uh, put this guy down. So I have the flashing underneath this shingle and then I have the sealant up and around that and I have sealant in both the holes. So this is a 5 16th, five inch lag bolt. And uh, we'll basically put this on top, lined up with the hole and then this guy on top of that. Okay, so I just finished all six mounts. Now it actually is square from that measurement over there to the measurement between these two and just show you a final look at it. Five inch, five sixteenths lag bolt with a washer. This is pressure treated two by four, the flashing and you can see the sealant is oozing out on all sides. So I'm not worried about uh, water getting through the roof. Okay, so here's what it looks like uh, just on the ladder. So what I'm gonna come back and uh, just stain the ends on all these. I live in a really dry desert climate, so I'm not too worried about these rotting. Um, but yeah, I'll just come back and stain treat all the ends and uh, should be pretty good. It's too late to put the panels up today, but we'll come back at it next week. Now the next step of the project was actually determining how I wanted to route the wires from the panels through my roof into the attic. So I found this affordable solar junction box. It's the Easy Solar JP 1.2. And here's a brief video of me installing it. Okay guys, new day. I'm just getting the solar junction box installed on the roof. So there's some really easy instructions you follow uh, on the website for this. I'll link this in the video description. But basically, you gotta cut away the shingles and then drill a two inch hole in your roof. And then uh, you put a, a hole in this. And it just slides up in there. You have a cap that goes on this and then your wires come through here. So now the next step of the project was to mount the solar panels to my super strut bars. So let me go ahead and show you the hardware that I decided to use for this project. Now to tie the ends of the solar panels down to the super strut bars, I picked up these aluminum solar clamps and they worked out really well. I used quarter inch stainless steel hardware and it feels really solid. Now for mounting the middle of the panels, I decided to go with these square washers that are designed by super strut and to mount them i basically have a three inch long quarter inch stainless steel hardware that goes down in between the panels 
Now all that hardware is mounted to the super strut using these special cone washers that slide along the track. And once you tighten them down, they bite into the channel and they don't move at all. Okay, so here's an example of how it's mounted in the middle. You have these super strut kind of washers that lock on to the underside. Then I have this bolt with this flat square washer. It basically goes right there between both panels, pulling it down. So you can see I have one there, there, one's gonna be there, and one's gonna be here. Now finishing out the panel install was fairly simple. All I had to do was put the third panel up, tighten all the hardware down, and it was very secure. Now in order to route the power from the solar panels, I used this flexible non-metallic conduit that goes down all the way to a one inch PVC conduit in the shed foundation. Now I have not finished this part of the project yet, but I do plan to trench and bury the wire in conduit all the way over to the house. Now, if you're looking to do a similar project like this, I wouldn't say this is very difficult out of a scale of one to 10 on a DIY difficulty. I'd say this is around a five or a six. And as long as you purchase everything right up front and have it all ready, it only takes about five to six hours to install this whole system. Now this works perfect for someone that's wanting to have an off-grid setup in a shed. You could think of this as a cabin with solar panels and have an inverter and battery system in here, or you could do what I'm doing I have this going down under the ground and then routing back to my power station and transfer switch to be able to use in a power outage and to run circuits to save power by using solar. Now maybe rooftop solar isn't your thing and you have space on the ground or if you want a portable setup, I have a video about this portable solar panel array that I made and this one is fairly easy and is less expensive because you just have the wood, the wheels, and some bracket mounts for the solar panels themselves. And I'll include that down in the video description if this is more of your cup of tea. In conclusion of the video, I know there are so many different ways to accomplish the same goal, but I wanted to come up with a DIY option that was fairly inexpensive, and I think I found a great solution. So hopefully this will be very helpful for some people looking to mount solar panels themselves. If you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you, and throw your comments down below. I'd love to hear your feedback about this system. Anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video.